What is up guys, McKnight Observations here with another plate carrier unboxing video. This one is an AC1 from T-Rex Arms. Let's check it out. Uh, really hoping I'm gonna like this one so it'll be the last plate carrier unboxing video for a while. Also, we're recording this on the phone instead of the GoPro, so... I think it'll be better quality for videos like this that don't involve shooting. You're gonna have to let me know. Oh god, don't don't look at that. Nobody look. Okay, so when you get your AC1, it's gonna come in this cute little baggie here. We no longer need that. Oh man. Wow, this is actually smaller than I thought it would be, which is nice. This actually looks really good. Alrighty, let's get into the features. So running top to bottom, front to back, <clears throat> we have the shoulder straps and shoulder pads. The pads are, they're padded but they're very thin, which is, I mean, that's what you want for a carrier of this style. Um, let's see if we can get an indent here for the thickness. Uh, you can get a little pad in there. You can see it. You can see it. To remove your shoulder pads, you just uh, slide it forward a bunch, or you probably do backwards as well. Undo the Velcro and slip it off, and you can see super thin, the tiniest bit of padding. It's going to be more comfortable than just straps. Also, your strap is going to serve to cover up the Velcro connection there. So when you're slipping and sliding around branches and stuff in the woods, when you're running around with your buddies, you're not going to have it cut on here and rip off. Coming down from the shoulders, we have a nice little Velcro loop field here for all your patches and maybe like a little... ATAC cell phone Velcro thing. I'm not sure if those come in only Velcro. I've never used one, but uh, yeah, I probably would only use this for patches, honestly. I don't really have anything I need right there as of right now. Below this, we have your placard support buckles. These are Swift Clips, I believe they're called. I could have looked at it before I recorded this, but I didn't feel like it. Um, which is awesome because a lot of slick plate carriers, uh, like another one I've had on this channel, do not come with placard support buckles. And um, it's really nice if you want to put a little more weight on your slick carrier. You know, this is, this is what helps with the scalability of the carrier. And below your buckles we have the Velcro loop field for the cummerbund and the cummerbund itself. The cummerbund is, uh, I believe, what T-Rex Arms is the most proud of on this carrier. So, as you can see, instead of three 5.56 five, sized slots on the cummerbund, we have three different sizes. First up is your small, which can fit your pistol mags, like this extended 509 mag, or, or this CZ Scorpion mag. Up next is your 556 five, pouch, which is going to quite snugly fit a 556 five, magazine. This one's a P mag with a P mag. This is, I got it because it looks cool. But, anyways, and it's in there pretty snug, um, which is what you want because when it's taut, you know, you can pull it out when it's on your body easy, but it's going to retain it pretty well. And that's that one is not getting launched out of there. This one, however, now it's not on my body, so we're losing a little bit. So we'll test that when it's on my body. Also, for the record, I believe, I don't think this is marketed as a pistol magazine. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it was mostly for like tourniquets is what they were saying, which having a tourniquet right up by your side here is pretty useful. So I don't know if it's, I'll look it up. <laughs> I don't have any 308 mags, so I can't... The only thing I could think of to show how big this last thing cell is, um, is I have a collapsible, foldable-up uh, duffel bag in here. 
um, this thing unfolds to like a pretty substantially sized bag. Um, you know, so if you need to fit a loot bag in here, easy. But um, it fits 308 mags, um, your AR-10, SCAR-17, G3 size mags will fit in this cell. On the back we have, um, oh geez, too much pet hair on this table. Not good, not good. We won't hold that against the AC one. Anyways, this is uh, a nice little Velcro field here for either a name tag or big American flag patch. Uh, I don't really know what you would use this for other than patches. Maybe I'm not educated enough. And then down here for the rear cummerbund is actually secured. We have loop here and then this is a hook flap that goes over your cummerbund once you've got it adjusted so that way nothing can catch on this when you're moving in and out of, I don't know, branches or a vehicle or something. Alrighty, um, I've adjusted it like barely. Um, eh, I'll mess with it more. I just wanted to show you guys what's on my plates. Um, we're not in yet. Got some Hesco L210s coming. Uh, so this is plateless right now, which is why it looks a little, a little whack. Um, so I didn't feel, I have a pair of soft plates, didn't feel like jamming them in here. Um, don't have steel plates because, anyway, so this is kind of what it looks like, uh, just on a person with no plates in it. So it looks a little, a little flaccid, a little baggy, a little lame, but, um, what I do have is, uh, so this is a Haley micro rig with all the straps removed. And uh, this one's set up to run a CZ Scorpion 509 combo right now. Uh, video on this soon. Same with this loadout. Eh, spoilers. So what these rigs have and a lot of placard, uh, I'll call them placard style chest rigs. You know, small rigs, and even bigger rigs now, they have this Velcro hook field on the back. And so what you do with this bad boy is you take your top clips that usually go into your straps. And these are your swift clips. We go. One here. This is my first time ever doing this, so uh <laughs> you know how it is, boys. So we put that in there and then boom. We're in it to win it. We have a secured by clips placards so even if somehow oh god it's a, you know it can't be removed from me um, if I adjusted this cummerbund a little better we could give ourselves more uh, velcro field maybe to allow for better, better securing but this field is pretty slick it's in a good spot um, can retrieve my mags pretty easy and access my admin stuff um, you know, I've got a flashlight on the side here. We can whip out easy. So, this is uh, what really appealed to me about the carrier is how easy it is to just scale up. I went from a completely slick carrier to uh, well, with practice, we can cut that time down a little bit, can't we? To a loadout um, in a pretty quick time. You know, you don't have to molly anything on, and it's still pretty slim to my body. You know, given this isn't fully built out or anything, and it's only uh, pistol-sized mags, but still. Real quick anecdote is why we generally don't run plate carriers without plates as chest rigs is like this thing is without the plate to support it. It is very wackadoo to look at. Look at look at this thing. It is it is suffering because there's nothing keeping it rigid and sturdy to counterbalance this weight. Um, this would much better be served as uh, a, I would be much better taking this off and putting my straps back on. Uh, this was just for, you know, showing you how easy it is to change your loadout and junk. But you definitely don't want to do this without plates. This was just for uh, demo purposes, if you will. Uh, so again, boys and uh, the one girl that'll watch this, this was just for, uh, you know, this is just an impressions video, obviously, since I didn't even jam plates in it. Like, a completely amateur YouTuber. 
Um, man, oof. It's just so whack wearing a plate carrier without plates in it. Um, but we got rid of the steel um, because, uh, you know, you learn things and you learn that you should not protect your life with that. <laughs> you should get the ceramic ones. Uh, maybe I should have waited until uh, they came in to do the video. But, um, uh, but this is my channel, so I can kind of do whatever I want. Now, can I? Oh, I almost forgot to... Uh, show the inside and the padding available. So here we have really no padding. This is just material. Now down the center we have, uh, you know, I won't even call this padding either. This is really just a breathable material. There may be, there is 1% uh, padding in this. It's padding, it's padded. We, it, you can't say it's not padded. But it is very thin, which is what you want in a potentially concealable carrier. I mean, look at this. It, this will be as thick as your plates, plus like a nanometer. It's awesome. Um, this is a size medium carrier, by the way. Don't think I mentioned that because I am a professional and I lay out my videos with a script. Look at that glorious lighting condition. Anyways, that is the end of this video, actually. This is just an impressions video for maybe uh, some people who don't want to look at people with nicer camera setups who, uh, you know, just have a much better production quality than me reviewing the AC-1, which to so many people have done. Um, <laughs> if you want the low-budget, you know, the B-movie uh, AC-1 carrier overview, uh, listen, McKnight Observations is your guide. This should go, too. You gotta come here for all the phone-recorded uh, <laughs> bloopers left in, uh, you know, this is what you need to come for. This is, this is why we're here. All right, you legends. That's going to be it for this one. I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking through to the end here, listening to me rant and ramble about a plate carrier. That's too good for me, I'll tell you. Uh, this one's sticking around for a while. Uh, some of my other plate carriers are going to get offloaded. Mm, spoiler alert, channel update, if you will. Uh, so if you want to like and subscribe uh, to make sure you see the new uh, and improved videos of this bad boy when the plates come in and I've uh, messed around with it at the range, uh, you know, uh, LARPed in it real good. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all 32 people who subscribe to me currently. You guys are the real ones. Um, oh, man. <laughs> that was good lighting right there. I got to hit the gym, boys. So uh, <laughs> we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching.